Hey guys, this is Oinky Poinky. Today I have something a little different for you. We have uh, Magic the Gathering cards. Um, this is a game that uh, my wife and I have played pretty casually for a little while. Um, she found this at Target when we were there. And I guess this is the latest um, expansion, or the latest uh, set as they would call it, called Unstable. So it's, it's supposed to be a little crazy. Um, these are kind of... Uh, if they're anything like the past cards, they're, they're cards or a series of cards that kind of make fun of the whole game themselves. Uh, they do a lot of puns, um, ridiculous monsters, um, or well, even more ridiculous monsters because they're all kind of ridiculous, as you can see by this play mat. <laughs> um, so we decided to pick it up. It's uh, $12.99 at Target. You get three boosters in here, and right here it says uh, it's for a three booster draft pack contains the booster packs you'll need for an unstable draft. So we're going to open them today just to see what we get. It's been a while since I've bought magic cards, but we'll read the back real quick. It says, attention test subjects. My genius created the unstable contraption, but even on the heels of this triumph, I was not satisfied. The world requires a mechanism for sharing my glorious creation. To that end, I present the draft pact. This compact portable drafting device allows anyone to engage in unstable drafts whenever or wherever they occur. Test this device thoroughly, instructions below. And then it says right here, thank you for your commitment to the cause of science. Your courage is appreciated, crossed out. This draft pack contains three unstable booster packs and is designed for eight player drafts. Each player in the draft will need a draft pack or three booster packs. So you can buy one of these and this is considered a draft pack or you can buy or you can get three loose booster packs from uh, your local LGS. Um, but why don't we go ahead and dive into this. Um, for those of you who've been living under a rock, this is a collectible card game in which you buy cards to create decks to battle other people. It started around 1993 by Richard Garfield. It's a wonderful game. It's a lot of fun. It could be a huge money sink though. Oh, look at that. So you want to assemble a contraption. All right, that's enough of that. So I think the most... Uh, the, the, the appeal for the actual players behind this set are the full art lands that are in foil. We'll see if we get any of those. Those are going to have a lasting value for sure. But otherwise, uh, it's, it's going to be funny to see these cards. All right, what do we have here? Finders Keepers is a sorcery for five and a black. Destroy a target creature, then assemble a contraption. I uh, guess contraption is a, a new mechanic, I think. It's basically put the top card of your contraption deck uh, face up onto one of your sprockets. <laughs> I have no idea what any of this means. Um, there we go. Um, next, Just Desserts. That's for one in the Reddit, it's an instant. And uh, for the for the previous sets that have kind of been uh, parody sets, uh, they all had silver borders like. Um, I don't know if they're tournament legal or uh, or not, but uh, I'm just a casual, so what do I know? Big Bow Constrictor, when this creature enters the battlefield, roll a six-sided die. Hammer Helper, it's a three and a red sorcery. Gain control of target creature until the end of turn. Untap that creature and roll a six-sided die. Until the end of turn, it gains haste and gains X plus X plus zero, where X is the result. And um, <laughs> it's pretty funny artwork. Shaggy Camel, three and a white. It's a host creature. When this creature enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one, plus one until the end of the turn. As you can see, it's kind of got like a uh, like graph paper on the left where the description is. If you guys can see that. Come on, autofocus. Anyways, that's a little hard to see, but yeah. Willing test subject, two and a green. It's a creature spider monkey scientist. It's a 2-2. Two, two. Has reach. Whenever you roll a four or higher on a die, put a 1-1 one, one counter on it Willing on willing test subject. And then if you uh, spend six, you get a roll of six-sided die. That's cool. Mother kangaroo. It's a four and a green for a 1-1 one, one, uh, host creature. Beast in the snow. It's four and two green. It's a, it's a six four creature beast. With trample. Nothing too fancy there. Goblin Haberdasher. Two and a red for creature. Two two. 
has menace and other creatures you control wearing hats in their art have menace. So basically, if you were to build a deck with this guy inside uh, that deck, you would want your creatures uh, that have hats, which is kind of ridiculous. Like this creature right here. Oh, no, that's an instant. Anyways, uh, if it's a creature and it has a hat that kind of uh, buffs it a little bit, it just kind of adds a fun mechanic to it. Cogmentor, it's an artifact creature 1-1 one, one for 1. It's a gnome rigger with flying. Party Crasher, 3-3 three, three for 4 and a red. It's a goblin berserker with haste, and you can attack with this guy once each combat uh, during each opponent's turn. No rest, no mercy, no reservations. This guy's just, you know, goblins are just kind of head first. Don't think at all. <laughs> Baron Von Count, this is our, it's a mythic. Nice. Um, it's a one black and red. It's a legendary creature, human villain for a 3-3. Three, three. Let's see if that focuses for you. Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Baron Von Count enters the battlefield with a doom counter on five, in quotes. Whenever you cast a spell with the indicated numeral in its mana cost, text box, power, or toughness, move the doom counter one numeral to the left. When the doom counter moves from one, destroy target player and put that doom counter on five. So uh, this, this makes you... Uh, <laughs> Do a little bit of counting and make sure you uh, do your upkeep and things like that. We have a full out forest. Unfortunately, it's not a foil. That's okay. Widget contraption artifact. I guess this is the contraption that uh, this set introduces. Whenever you crank widget contraption, which is this, it assembles a contraption. And again, contraption means putting the top card of your contraption deck face up onto one of your sprockets. Top secret tunnel. It's another artifact. It's another contraption. Um, the artwork's pretty funny. It's very colorful. It's very cartoony, which is fun. And we have a uh, a foil dragon token. It's a four four. I think I think this set um, has all foil tokens. Is it? I don't remember. Anyways, we'll put the two uh, artifacts there. We'll put the lands there. Mythic there. Put the uncommons here and the commons here. Why not? On to the next pack. These are always fun because they, they kind of poke poke a lot of fun at uh, all the seriousness uh, magic can be sometimes. Capital Offense. It's an instant for two black black. It's got a little uh, goblin guy there with... <laughs> yeah, it's not, it's not focusing too well today, but um, we're okay. Uh, target creature gets minus X minus X until the end of turn where X is the number of times a capital letter appears in the rules text. So, uh, yeah, that'll, that'll cause you to break out the rules book once more and, uh, see how much of a, I mean, it's, it's pretty good. If there's a lot of capitals, then it's just instant kill really. Um, yeah, we'll put that, uh, mm, comments. Here we are. Just desserts. We've already seen this one. It's a one in a red for an instant. Um, Subcontract sorcery. Uh, there's there's a there's a grandma with chopsticks, with with green stuff coming out of the chopsticks, and um, I don't know maybe she's putting something in the drink. There we go. Got to go real close to it. All right, now we know what to do. We'll show you guys up close and personal. Old guard, old artifact creature, two one for one and a white. Um, you pay a white and you tap it. And uh, you can uh, tap the card target creature without reminder text. Reminder text <laughs> is still any italicized text in parentheses that explains rules you already know. So that's funny. And the flavor text says, you say you're capable of flying. You got any proof of that? It's just too funny. All right. Blurry Beeble. Artifact creature, Cyborg Beeble, 1-1 one, one for a blue. Um, it has a blurry ability. This creature can be blocked only if defending player was wearing glasses as it was cast. So make sure you play with all your uh, friends that wear glasses and maybe build a deck out of these guys. Whenever Blurry Beeble deals damage to that, par that player, you may draw a card. And if you do, discard a card. 
Here we go. We got a uh, part of a giant card, multi-headed something. Might be a Hydra, might be a dragon. It is a Hydra. There it is. It's a plus four, plus four at the beginning of each, each end step. You roll to die this turn, blah, blah, blah. You can't read the other side. Um, we'll show that up close for you guys. I guess you combine these for a, uh, a much bigger card. There we go. Has augment on it. We're all familiar with that uh, mechanic. Beast in, Beast in the show. I think we've already seen this. It has trample to 6-4 four for 4 and 2 green. No made engine. It's a host creature construct 2-2 two, two for 4. And um, you create 1-1 one, one colorless gnome, art gnome artifact creature tokens uh, whenever this enters the battlefield. Rumors of my death. This is a 2 and a black enchantment. I love the artwork on this one. It's kind of emo. Yeah, it's, it's not focusing, but that's okay. Um, it's three and a black if you uh, play uh, play the enchantment. And you get an exile permanent you control with League of Dastardly Doom watermark. Return a permanent card with that same watermark from your graveyard to the battlefield. And the flavor text says, by the fourth funeral, the mooks have gotten pretty good at them. All right, starting our uh, uncommons, we have a shell elephant. It's one and two greens, one green green for a question mark, question mark. For zero mana, you choose one. You may activate this ability while Shellofint is in any zone. Shellofint has base power and toughness 1-4. And Shellofint has base power, toughness 3-3. Three, three. So you can either pump him to be uh, pretty good at defense and pretty good at offense or really good at defense. This is uh, one side of the Rhino. <laughs> plus one, plus four. It says whenever this creature blocks, then I'm guessing something is activated. We'll just put that there. And our uh, our good card, our rare card, is four and three red for an elemental. Has an infinite sign in the bottom right, and it's uh in the five. <laughs> so as you can see in the in the in the text, it says this creature has infinite power. Anyways, it says, this creature has infinite power right there, and he's kind of burning his fireball into the uh, the text. Um, and the flavor text says, it's so infinite that its flavor text says, it's so infinite that its flavor text says, it's so infinite that its flavor text says, and it just keeps going to going down. Smaller text, smaller text, smaller text. Yeah, I'm not sure how you would play this, um, but it seems really overpowered to me. Anyways, we'll stick that right there. We have a full art planes. No foil this time, unfortunately. We got another widget contraption and an applied aeronautics. They're both uh, artifacts. And we got a foil vampire token. 2-2 two, two with flying. And for our last pack, let's go ahead and dive into this. Hopefully we get um, a foil land, full art land. That'd be awesome. If not, it's always fun to see these. Snickering Squirrel. It's a uh, it's a one one creature squirrel advisor. He has mustaches, mustache rather, and it's a one one creature. You may tap snickering squirrel this guy to increase the result of a die. Any player rolled by one. Any player. That's key because that also includes you. And the flavor text says in this line of work you've got to know how to squirrel things away. Quite literally in my case, he's like the mob boss. <laughs> Work a double. Sorcery, two and two red. Uh, assemble two contraptions. Contraptions are these right here. And, um, yeah, that kind of uh, helps you draw cards and discard cards if you need that. Or any other abilities that they may introduce. Sacrifice play. It's a two and a white, for instant. A person outside the game chooses an attacking or blocking creature target or Chooses an attacking or blocking creature target opponent controls. That player sacrifices that creature. Um, yeah, white's, uh, white White needed more um, um, kind of offensive abilities like that. In the flavor text, it says, uh, in recursive chess, one piece can capture another only after beating it in a game of recursive chess. <laughs> so, it's funny. It's kind of It kind of plays on itself, and the drawings are... Quite amusing. Dirty rat, one in a black for a rat, one one. When this creature enters the battlefield, target opponent discards a card. Pretty standard, but 
also great that early in the game. Uh, we got half of a hummingbird. Um, the artwork shows a hummingbird with a lot of other hummingbirds drinking out of a, a vial of red stuff. Um, it's flying. Plus two, plus three whenever you attack with two or more creatures. And then I guess you'll find out in the other half if you ever get that. Blurry Beeble. We've seen this one. It's a blue for a 1-1 one, one with Blurry. Um, Wild Crocodile. One in a green for a 1-1. One, one. When it enters the battlefield, search your library for a basic land card, reveal it and put it in your hand, then shuffle your library. Green's always good at that sort of thing. Ferocious Vacuum, three mana, three colorless mana. Uh, when this creature enters the battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. It's an artifact. 1-1 one, one creature artifact. And for the uncommons, we have Sly Spy. It's a 2 and a black for 2-2 two, two creature human spy. Whenever Sly Spy deals combat damage to a player, that player reveals the top card of his or her library. Put that card into your hand, and if you lose life, and you lose life equal to the converted mana cost. So that's kind of a uh, black does what black does best. <laughs> Teacher's pet, bird scientist, two one for a one and a white. If you sacrifice this guy, search your library for a card with augment. Combine it with target host you control, then shuffle your library. Shellophant, we already saw this one. Kind Slaver. This is our rare. It's a legendary artifact. Um, this is a uh, a spinoff of Mind Slaver. That's a, a very popular card. Um, this is for five mana. If you tap it, a person outside the game controls target player during that next place that next player's next turn. Neither player may advise that person till the end of the turn. And the flavor text says, "Just relax. I brought in a substitute." So if you play this, um, I guess. Uh, that person kind of subs in for uh, someone, and whether they're good at the game or not, that 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 remains to be seen. We have a full art mountain. We have two contraptions, artifacts, record stone, which reads, whenever you crank record, oh record store, excuse me, whenever you crank record store, look at the top X cards of your library, where X is the number of artifacts you control. Put one of those cards into your hand, and the rest into the bottom of your library at a random order. And the other one, Genetic recomb Recombinator. So it kind of looks like two vials with two different animals in it, and uh, it looks like it's uh, going to fuse them at some point like Pokemon. <laughs> Anyways, I'm sorry this isn't uh, focusing better for you. We'll make sure to fix that in the future. Uh, but hopefully I'm reading everything very clearly and concisely for you guys to, to make sense of what all this is. Uh, it's another artifact contraption. It's an uncommon. Whenever you crank genetic, whenever you crank this card, up to two target creatures you get get plus two, plus two until the end of turn. It's a little buff for you. And we got a foil token squirrel, the Earl of Squirrel, but not so much. He has a giant wood wheel in the background, and he's uh, he's smoking something, or he, he's drinking he's drinking out of that uh, that sweet sweet water dispenser. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining us. That was um, a quick three packs of um, Unstable. If you guys are interested in uh, mixing up your, your deck a little bit with funny cards and um, stuff that kind of mixes things up a little bit, I definitely recommend you get and grab some of these. It'll make for a fun night. Um, thanks for bearing with us, guys. This is something a little different that we wanted to do. And uh, we, we're, always, um, we're always big fans of board games and card games, so there will be a lot more of a these videos in the future, hopefully. But until next time, we will see you. Bye.